Welcome everybody, welcome back to Homestead Heart. And today I am outside getting ready to plant some trees. Oh, look at these babies. Look at that. Awesome. These are our trees that came in from Isom's Nursery. And I have had them soaking in some water for the last few hours because we have been so busy with the farm fence that they was in that water a little longer than I wanted but that's okay it's only been a few hours and it's time for me to get them out now and get them planted so woo, let's get started <laughs> all right so what I'm gonna do is just take off all of the ties that's on these babies because they got them tied up in here pretty good and then I'm going to go over with you the varieties that I have as well that's one finally I got all these things off <laughs> got all these things off of here hey bud where you going with that string all right you all so now, let's look at what we got. Okay. Oh, this is one. Grenada. Oh. The Grenada. This is my pomegranate. Ooh, I am so excited. It still got all of the, oh yeah, these roots are good and hydrated because they have been sitting in this water for hours. So they are hydrated. They are well hydrated. So yeah, this is my pomegranate. I'm so excited. Miss Cheryl, you see what I got, Miss Cheryl? <laughs> I got this because Miss Cheryl over at Cheryl's Organic Food Forest she made her pomegranates look so good one day that I was like, okay. <laughs> I was in the screen going like, ooh, if I could just. <laughs> the next one. What is this little thing down here? Oh, this is my double gold raspberry right here. Just look at it. This is my double gold raspberry. Oh yeah. Okay, it's doing some weird stuff, but. Oh, wait. Oh, it's three of them, I think. It is, I got three of them. Shut up. I forgot. <laughs> All right. This is my Alberta peach right here. Look at those roots. Yeah, good and hydrated. Next I have... This is my Moon Glow Pear. Right here. I know it don't look... I know that some people is like, she just pulling out a bunch of sticks. <laughs> okay, this is my Bartlett Pear. Ooh. <laughs> Next... Ah, uh, I'm so excited about this. This baby here, this stick. This is my Santa Rosa plum. And this one right here, look at that. Look at all of this. Just look at this. This is my red delicious apple. It's waking up like, hello world. Last but certainly not least is my yellow delicious apple and i got the yellow delicious or the golden delicious to go with the red delicious so that they can pollinate one another because each one of them needed a pollinator and it just so happens that these are good pollinators for one another i have all of my trees set out on top of the containers that they are growing in I'm not going to take you through the painstaking video of watching me plant them all, but I am going to show you how I plant one of them 
and the rest of them will be pretty much the same, okay? I am starting them all in containers. I do want to put them in the food forest, but not yet. <laughs> I want to put them in the food forest, but the food forest is not ready yet. So this is going to be these containers, 17 gallons. These 17 gallon containers that I drilled holes in, you have to be careful with it so you don't bust up the bottom. But this is 17 gallons. Inexpensively from the big box stores, seven bucks maybe, right? This is what I'm putting all of my trees in for the time being, okay? This is their, this is their starter home. So let me go ahead and get these babies planted, y'all. All right, you all. So it's another day. All that work and nothing was recorded. I have all of my trees planted <laughs> except one, except my red delicious apple. I saved this one because once I realized that I wasn't recording a thing, I'm like, okay, I need to save at least one. Yeah, so I'm getting ready to plant this. I have already added fertilizer to my pot. I put in some blood and bone meal and I put in some fertilizer for the fruit tree. Let me show you. So I added this fruit and citrus granular plant food fertilizer basically and this is basically for all of your fruit even citrus right but i don't use this one on the citrus i get one specific for the citrus which i um showed you that in the video where i up potted maxine and prepared my pots for my citrus trees that will be coming here shortly so but my fruit trees y'all I'm just so excited about my fruit trees, right? So this is the um, citrus or the fruit fertilizer here. Yeah, and I've already put some of that down in that hole there. So now we can go ahead and get her planted so I can show you how I planted my trees. Okay, you all, so here is the graph line of this tree right here I don't know if you can see that but that's the graph you should be able to see it. that's the graph line of this tree right here so what I'm getting ready to do is plant this up to just below the graph line okay we don't want to plant it above the graph line we're gonna plant it below all right and her roots were soaked and everything but I'm gonna just uh, spread them out a bit and then plant her straight down in the container just like so. And then I'm just going to backfill that. Make it nice and firm. So the graph line is here, okay? So I have a little room to go ahead and backfill this, all right? Now, if, because her roots are right here, before I top this with the remaining soil mix right just up into that graph line, this will be the point where I added my fertilizer, right? I'm not gonna put a lot, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. But this is where I would have added my citrus fertilizer and then i would come back and add the rest of my soil mix just because i want that fertilizer to be closer to her roots instead of sitting directly on top of my soil or my potting mix i'm going to spread that around and as you can see, it's still well below that graph line. I'm gonna give that a nice little press just to get any air pockets out. I'm gonna add in my remaining soil, which is not a lot. So 
smooth that around a bit. All right, give that a press. All right, and that is that. And all I'm gonna do now, once I water her in, is just add some, either some wood chips or some mulching hay, something like that, just to be able to help this plant retain, plant, <laughs> this tree retain some moisture, okay? All right, y'all, so that's it. This is my Red Delicious Apple. All of the others have been successfully planted and are ready to go all right y'all so my beautiful red delicious apple has been planted as you can see already flowering on the tops up there isn't that beautiful look at that tops and all i'm gonna do is just get her watered in and that's that especially having that fertilizer you want to make sure you water this well You want to make sure you water it well because her roots can't take up the fertilizer unless she has water. So be sure you give her a nice, heavy drink of water, especially if it's the first time planting your trees. And this is being planted in a container because it's just my choice, but you can plant these in the ground now our average last frost date isn't for a few more weeks so what i'm going to do is pull her in the greenhouse with the other trees and that's where she's going to stay until the danger of frost has passed i was reading the growing guides on the stark brothers website okay now they even recommended slowly preparing your trees for outdoor planting because they're bare root they've been packaged and as they begin to wake up from dormancy it might not be a good idea to just put them directly out into the elements they recommended gradually introducing your tree to outdoor life. Now, <laughs> a lot of people aren't able to do that, and a lot of people don't do that. Some people get them, unbox them, and in the ground they go. But it kind of worked out good for me because when I got them, I wasn't feeling well. <laughs> and so they just sat in the box. <laughs> they sat in the box for days yes they did and then after unboxing them bringing them out to get them planted uh actually once we started to uh, once we uh, took them out of the box i brought them out in the greenhouse they still had the plastic around the roots but i brought them out in the greenhouse out of the box and i left them in the greenhouse just like that for a day or so and then we started to get them planted I think she's gotten quite a bit of water I think she's gonna be okay and she'll be using this water to soak up all of that wonderful wonderful fertilizer that we've given to her yes so I'm gonna let her sit out here and drain it's a beautiful day outside so she'll be fine out here for now. And then I'm going to pull her back in the greenhouse. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for today for planting my Lady Red right here. Oh, I like that name. Lady Red. All right, Lady Red. That's who that is. <laughs> so Lady Red has been planted and I have more plantings to do because today is watermelon planting day. Oh yeah, watermelon, cantaloupe. Time to get those seeds started. I'm excited, yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. One thing I forgot to mention, 
is to make sure your tree is standing upright. You want this tree to grow upright. So what I'm going to have to do for each one of our trees is I'm going to put a piece of bamboo in here to help make sure this tree stays upright as it grows. Because see how it's, it's just leaning a bit? So I want to make sure that it's standing upright. So I'll be adding a piece of bamboo to this and that will help this tree to stay up, okay? All right, y'all, that's gonna do it for planting my fruit trees. I thought my citrus trees would have been here by now. Stark Brothers, I'm telling you, boy, they just, they make you wait for it. <laughs> but they won't send it until after the danger of frost has passed. So you just gotta wait. So it's gonna be a little while longer before we get our citrus in. I'm so excited to share with you the varieties, but I'm going to wait till that video comes to show you all. And y'all, I'm going to tell y'all, if you have, if you are, um, if you watch Lead Farmer and Lady Lead, Lead Farmer 73 is the name of his channel and Lady Lead is the name of her channel. And if you watch those two beautiful people, I'm going to tell you, they have inspired so many people to grow fruit trees, right? And the proof is in the pudding, I'll say, because they get amazing fruit harvest from their trees, whether it be citrus trees or persimmons or pomegranate or whatever. They get beautiful harvest from their trees and they have really inspired so many people okay to start growing their own fruit trees so y'all if y'all haven't watched them go over and watch them they are just amazing at inspiring people to just uh go do it <laughs> go do it you know so and and that's that's really wonderful for so many who feel like they can't they really make it so that you believe that you can and that is like half the battle right so i'm not going to go any further there i'm just going to stop and say thank y'all for watching homestead heart <laughs> if you haven't done so already go ahead and give our video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video that we upload to our channel i really want more fruit trees <laughs> I want more we have some but I want more and truth be told though the trees that we have we can multiply our trees from what we have but I want more right now is what I'm saying <laughs> but it's not gonna happen so anyway you all thank y'all for watching homestead heart peace and blessings to each and every one of you it's bright out here I will see y'all in the next video